Okay, so uh, this is uh, another example that we are going to uh, work. As you can see here, <clears throat> we have a system that is consisting of a piston rod that is connected to a hinge here. It seems as if we are talking about a car, something in a car for example. And there is a brake pedal that is uh, connected uh, to this uh, hinge using this arm or, use, or uh, uh, connected uh, using this kind of um, rod or whatever and we are um, the problem actually is interested in the calculation of the compressive force in this rod the compressive force in this rod so the example or this problem is uh, trying to find the stresses that is going to be developed in this piston rod due to an application of a force at the brake pedal of 40 Newton as if there is someone is like pressing or, uh, this, um, this pedal and we want to know how much stresses are going to be developed here in this <coughs> piston rod so calculate the compressive stress sigma c in the circular piston rod as we can see in the figure when the force p equal to 40 newton is applied to the brake uh, pedal as we can see it here assume that the line of action of the force p this is the line of action here is parallel to the piston rod it is parallel actually to, to the piston rod which has diameter 5 millimeter this piston rod it has 5 millimeter diameter also the other dimensions shown in the figure which is this 50 millimeter and 225 millimeter are measured perpendicular so they are perpendicular to the line of action of the force P so they are perpendicular to to this line of action okay this line of action they are perpendicular to it okay so uh, first of all we need to know the key solution of this problem we want to understand something that whatever the system that we have let's clean things here first whatever the things uh, whatever the system that we have it should be in equilibrium right so what are the forces being applied on this system we are going to find the force P and in the same time for whatever the force being applied here from the on the uh, brake pedal there should be exactly a reaction like R for example that is going to be developed in this piston rod in order to make this system to be in equilibrium well what is the point where that we are going to find the moments equal to zero it is this point because this is the point of hinge right so the system is going to be as if it is going to be hinged at this point so based on this we can put a free body diagram a free body diagram as if we're going to have something like this here this is the point let's assume it's the the hinge point we are going to have a force here which is p equal to 40 newton and here somewhere here which is 50 millimeter from this part we are going to have a reaction r okay so we want to know what is the stresses here simply we are going to take the moment around this point the moment around this point which is obtained from r the reaction and the force and then we are going to equate it in one equation and from this equation we can obtain the force <coughs> or the reaction that is going to be developed in the rod or the piston rod and after that we can obtain the stresses in this rod sigma c equal to r over the area of this rod and the area is known because we know the diameter is uh, 5 millimeter and r is going to be obtained from this equilibrium equation okay so this is simply the idea of this um, of this problem very simple st static problem and then we can get the stress in this piston rod okay let's see how it will work for us in detailed solution 
So this is the free body diagram of the brake pedal. So as we said in the free body diagram, diagram, we said before that we remove everything and only keep whatever the points and the force is being applied on the system and the reactions that is going to be developed. So we have the force here, P, 40. We have the force here, or the reaction, if we want to say F, that is going to be developed in the piston rod. And this point is going to be considered as a hinge. It has some reactions, but we are not interested in it because they are passing through the point where that we are going to take moment around. So we are not going to be interested in them. But we are going to see that this P is going to make a clockwise moment around this point. Let's assume it point A. And this F is going to make, for example, another counterbalancing moment, which is counter clockwise moment. So we have this moment here coming from P, another moment coming from F, and they are going to be in equilibrium or the system is going to be in equilibrium. Okay, so let's now go. We have F, which is the compressive force in the piston. It's clear. And D, which is the diameter of the piston. It is five millimeter given to us already before. This is the, the diameter of this piston. So we're going to make equilibrium of the uh, uh, brake biddle. So we are going to make the equilibrium of the brake uh, biddle. And this uh, equilibrium is going to be like, as we can uh, see here, the summation of moment. I don't know why this is not working. Okay, so the summation of moment is going to be around point A and it is going to equal to zero and we are going to have a sign convention which is positive which is counterclockwise and negative which is going to be clockwise so we can see here that this one F times 50 this is F times 50 because this is the moment arm minus because this is clockwise p times 225 plus 50 which is 275 equals to zero and this is we can rearrange it and put f in the left hand side and p to the to be in the right hand side and putting uh, 275 over 50 millimeter the moment arms and we can substitute with the dimensions or with the magnitudes each and then we can obtain F equal to 220 Newton. Then the compressive stress in piston rod with a diameter of 5 millimeter is going to be sigma C equals to F over the area. F already obtained from here, 220 Newton. And this is the diameter, sorry, the area. And this is the diameter 5 millimeter. We can obtain the value of this or the magnitude of this stress equals to 11.2 megapascal okay i hope that it is clear for us how it goes simple equilibrium equation we are going to uh, apply it and then from this equilibrium equation or equilibrium of this brake pedal we can obtain the force and from this force we can get the compressive stress in the piston rod okay this is the end of this uh, example thank you